one year after the demolition of their homes and the unwanted slaughter of some of their livestock, Caneview Mocker Arcade Squatter said coping with their losses has not been easy. Some spoke of the separation of their families, living with different relatives, renting apartments, and the loss of income due to the displacement of their livestock. Some were moved to tears upon reflecting on the situation. Rough. Rough, rough here. Sometimes we still get help from some people. Help me with grandma and things like some food stuff. Some, some easy as well, I want to help something. They, they tell me that we gotta sell out we cattle the thing. They find no land for giving for we cattle. So we gotta sell out everything. No, because there's no daily bird. I couldn't sell out everything that I got. Rough, rough, tough. Everything was wrong this year, last year. Everything was wrong. I start over, yes, but it's not like before. It's more tough because the income that I had for maintaining this thing, it's not there. So it's a little more it's rough right now. I need help. I need help. I still need help. I'm not standing firm anymore. I need help. And I need help from the government because we need to home back. We don't have a home. We don't have nothing for the matter of fact. I don't have nothing. I'm fighting for life right now. Still, a day like today. Today is the fifth a year. i still fighting for life. I had a life at Cane View. I ain't got a life no more. So I need help. I really need help. I'm not feeling so good for the one year. Many days cry. Just feel emotion. The children also, they just feel emotion and think reflection. Even with the cows them, you just keep lasting the cows them. They they no compensate, they don't know who teeth in them and them thing. Living in people place isn't easy. For the one year it's not easy. And I just uh, saying every day that let things come forward. At least the government could see with us what we were standing for. It's not like if we give up we stand for give up your rights just so. We stand for the rights and when down the bulldozers like they have no heart and today is one year and it really affected us, it touched us from the heart. I can't say anything more. Seven of the squatters did not accept government's compensation, which they felt was not adequate. According to them, no provisions were put in place for their livestock, which is their only source of income. Many of them watched helplessly as their homes came crashing down. They were not allowed to save anything. Fast forward a year later, the access road which had been built near their homes is completed. A trench would have separated the squatters from the road. According to the squatters, what is more heartbreaking is on the other side where houses are built, those houses are closer to the highway than they were located. Overtime MP Nemo Flo Bess has stood and lent support to the affected squatters. She said many of them have not gotten back on their feet as yet. And now the road is completely all recognized. The opposite side of the road is closer to the highway. The homes on the opposite side of the highway are closer to the highway than where the Caneview people were actually located. There's a canal, a piece of land next to the highway, a canal, and then Caneview. And that tells you that whatever is there in the agenda, only the creator knows, but they will have to compensate those people they either compensate them in the right manner or they learn to make sure they be compensated somewhere along the line. It's very sad. You know, it's 20 children not being able to go to school for a while because the uniform destroyed, the books destroyed, they ain't got no home, they're sleeping, some, some children, some are sleeping Sophia by one grandmother, the mother sleeping there, the, the husband sleeping in Mocha by somebody else. Weekend they try to reach together. Up. And after one year, nothing. But we await justice. We await justice. They estimated their losses to be in the millions. These include livestock, household items, beverages, and other stocks. Member of Parliament Coretta MacDonald called out the government over the treatment of these squatters. She was on the ground to offer support as they reflected 
on what unfolded on January 5th last year. We here are described as the new Dubai of the Caribbean and we still got our poverty level has risen. And this is not what Coretta McDonald is saying. This is what reports from international agencies are saying. You can't talk about development when ministers are to be buying groceries for citizens in this country. How could that be development? You can't talk about development when people's homes are being bulldozed. You can't talk about development when we got a whole lot of murders, lots of crimes, lots of suicides. That can't be development. And then again, you can't talk about development when you're starving the public servants. Huh? The government has repeatedly said it made offers of housing and land to the squatters, but these were refused. The government also said that the squatters had made unreasonable demands. Many of those whose houses were demolished had been living on the land for almost 30 years and had invested all they had earned into giving their children a good education and improving their lives. These squatters have since filed legal action against the state.